Hello, hello everybody. This is Moni with Flowers by the Bunch. Today I am going to make some matching church arrangements. So this is for um, one of the local high schools. Um, they will have their baccalaureate services tonight and then we will pick up these arrangements and take them to the graduation on Thursday. We always offer that service where we can pick up that arrangement, pop it back in our cooler until Thursday and then they can use the same two arrangements for two different events. We are going to start out with these. Um, these are plastic urns. They are really very nice. Um, we've really liked them. I like that it's really good looking for a plastic urn. Um, it almost looks like stone. I've taken a fresh block of a block of fresh floral foam and we've soaked it and placed it down into this container. I had some extra just leftover pieces of floral foam in our water um, bucket and so I used the extra pieces to kind of um, secure that foam into place. It kind of just pushes it in so that it holds that um, foam in place and then we've taped it kind of crossways so that it's not going to fall apart. It's going to be moved a lot so it's very important that we make sure that our mechanics are really well put together. Now again I am going to make two matching arrangements. So when I make matching arrangements I like to do them at the same time. It takes less thought process to when you make them at the same time because if I make one then I have to study that one to get my lines right or my flowers in place correctly. So I just find if I put these three line flowers in then I put these three line flowers in the next one. It's just a quicker process for me personally. I'm going to start out with some leather leaf foliage and I'm just going to green out the container. I'm taking just my floral knife which is just a paring knife. Um, I'm going to cut those stems at an angle and press that right down into the floral foam. Pull my trash can. So if any of the bottom fronds, any fronds are, um, don't look pretty, just pull those right off. like to use leather leaf as a base. Um, it's an inexpensive foliage so it works really well as the base of an arrangement. So I'm just taking and cutting those stems at an angle and tucking them right down into that floral foam. Now again I said that um, the foam was soaked. We always soak our foam first so anytime using when you're using fresh floral foam you want to make sure that you soak it first. And we have one of those little dish tubs um, that sits by our sink. All right, so there is our greenery. Next, we're gonna come in. I'm gonna add a little bit of Italian Ruscus. Um, Italian Ruscus, um, to me, it seems to be a little bit of a fancy greenery. It kind of gives the effect of a vining, kind of a little bit of a vining greenery. It's pretty. It is a little pricey, so we don't keep it here a whole lot. Um, but it sure is nice when it's here. And this is really going to um, make this arrangement look larger and show here. So I'm going to take my knife, cut that stem at an angle. And I am just going to tuck it throughout that leather leaf I already have in there. Now, all, I don't 
always spray my um, greenery with plant shine. But sometimes your foliage can be kind of, it almost looks dirty, um, kind of matte looking, and so I like to shine it up a little bit with a plant shine. Now there's lots of different um, types. You don't have, I, I'm not really, I don't care what brand of plant shine, I just like the best price. But this is called Green Glow. Um, and so I'm just gonna take this plant shine and I am just popping that greenery just a little bit with some shine. Now let me say, you don't wanna use this on flowers. You only wanna use it on the foliage. So often we'll use it on green plants that kinda of look dirty or dusty, um, and it just shines everything up and makes it pretty. But it's a, it's a nice tool. All right. I do have one more um, type of greenery that I'm gonna add in, but I'm gonna wait and use it at the end. It's seeded eucalyptus. So I'm gonna add that at the end after our flowers. So I'm going to add our lime flower first. Now this school is, um, their colors are blue and orange and white. And so my lime flower is going to be blue delphinium. And I'm going to take my floral knife, cut that stem at an angle. That delphinium is so pretty in my opinion. Now I will tell you, I don't know if you can notice in this video, but you see how receding the color blue is. It's very hard to see. Um, and so very often when I'm making an arrangement like this, I will often say, blue's hard to see. Let's not use our dominant color um, as a dark color. So blues and purples and darker colors are, co are receding colors. So when you have this arrangement in the church or in the auditorium, um, this blue is hard to see. So you always want to be real careful using darker tones in the larger arrangements. So these are called shocking blue hydrangeas, bold, beautiful blue hydrangeas. I'm going to take my floral knife, I cut that stem at an angle, and I am going to dip this in some quick dip. Now, quick dip is a hydrating solution. You've seen me use it a dozen times or more, probably a hundred. <laughs> anyway, what this does is it hydrates, keeps that hydrangea hydrated. So I take my hydrangea, we always leave these little sleeves on our hydrangeas because when they're placed in the cooler, sometimes they're close to the cooler wall. And so it will cause, it'll blister a little bit. It'll blister that bloom just a little bit. And so we always just leave that on. I removed the foliage. I'm gonna take my floral knife and I'm gonna cut that stem at an angle. And I'm gonna dip it in that quick dip. I'm gonna count to about seven. And I'm gonna tuck that hydrangea right down into that arrangement. And I'm going to take my third stem and do exactly the same thing. Now, my reasoning behind taking off all this beautiful foliage, and it is beautiful, but what happens is when I, this hydrangea is in this floral foam, it struggles to drink anyway. It's not easy for the flower to um, be hydrated anyway, but if I will pull the leaves off the um, off the stem, my water is going to go up the stem directly to the head instead of watering all those leaves. And so that's the reason I go ahead and remove the leaves. Cut that stem at an angle and dip it in that quick dip. There's our three blue hydrangeas. Look, they are so blue and so pretty. Next, we're gonna pop our hydrangeas in this arrangement. Yeah. 
these arrangements for the school for graduation so it worked out perfect okay so there's two arrangements we've done our blue delphinium as our line flower and our beautiful bold blue hydrangeas as our focal flower and you can see you focus right in on those hydrangeas now they're also called a mass flower and you see why they take up a lot of space right next we're going to come in with some white moms and so these are called yin yang moms and so i love them because of their little dark centers um they remind you a little bit of an anemone anemones have dark blue centers well these are definitely daisies but they have those sweet little dark centers which are kind of fun now i'm going to spread these out i'm stripping off any of that foliage and I'm going to cut those stems at an angle and really just kind of spread them out throughout this arrangement. All right, there's our yin yang daisies. Next, we're gonna come in with some orange spray roses. So, orange spray roses happen to be a staple in our cooler, and these are called um, orange babe spray roses. We use them all the time. They're just such happy um, flowers, and it works out perfect because this arrangement needs to be orange and blue. There's our orange spray roses. And next we're going to come in with some movie star roses. So these movie stars are just a really deep orange. Really pretty orange colored rose. And so we're just gonna kind of go throughout this arrangement with these orange. And I believe movie star is a variety, but I will correct me if I'm wrong. <laughs> because I could be wrong. But I think that's the variety. I don't always remember all the varieties of the standard roses. Because we get so many different varieties that sometimes that's hard to, to recall. Okay, so I am going to add the roses to the second arrangement. Now let me say that I did wire these roses before I got started. Um, often you will see me, always, um, wire roses because um, I, I just like the insurance that wire gives me. Now, most of the time you would mirror these arrangements and I didn't do a great job of that. So I'm just not going to break my neck over it. Okay, and then last we're going to add in flowers, we're going to add some blue thistle. So a lot of people will tell you that blue thistle is a weed and maybe it is, but it is such a pretty weed is a pretty weed so I'm just going to take it we do order this in we get it from our um, from our flower company um, Budsy and I just think this will is such a wonderful um, added texture and it's just kind of fun it's get kind of spiky and fun there's our blue thistle the last thing we're going to add is a little bit of seeded eucalyptus. Now, I like to use um, the eucalyptus down at the, um, at the opening of the container. And I like to use it there because I like it to kind of cover this container. Um, I'm just going to take it and break it and tuck that right into the... the foam and see how pretty that kind of drips down on that container drips over that edge mm -hmm. 
So the flowers that we use today, the blue flowers include the blue delphinium and blue, shocking blue hydrangeas. We use the white yin yang daisies, which make me so happy. I love the yin yangs. Um, we used orange babe spray roses and then the orange standard roses, which I believe the variety is um, movie star. And then as a little bit of filler flower, we used a little thistle. Now the foliages we used were leather leaf. That's such a standard here at our shop. And not everybody likes it, and that's completely okay. I just really like to use it as a base foliage. It just works really well. We used Italian Ruscus, which is kind of this pointy foliage here. And then we used that little bit of seeded eucalyptus. So there are our two arrangements that will go to a church service and then to a graduation service. Guys, thank you so much for being here. Thank you for um, always coming and um, enjoying our videos. We appreciate that so very much. If you enjoyed this video, please give us a thumbs up. And if you have any questions about how we do things, please drop that right here in the comments. We are so happy to answer any questions you might have. Guys, I hope you have a great day. We'll see you all real soon. Thank you.